Hey guys, what's up? I just posted this picture on Instagram. I just posted these knives. I'm under I love knives, all lowercase letters. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But anyway, uh, the reason I'm making this quick video is to show you these three knives that I've had before. I've had all of these before in different configurations, you know, maybe not the carbon fiber, but a different uh, blur. Also, the paramilitary, too. I've had it in um, pretty much every configuration except for the sprints. I've never had a sprint run. And the Hogue. I've had the uh, Hogue in the green. Uh, Gmascus with the Tonto blade. I was very lucky to be able to pick up this. Instagram is a great tool for uh, for knife sales. You know, uh, it's instant access to these guys that are selling their knives. And if you're um, on Instagram and you're attentive to it, and you're uh, constantly on it, then you're going to catch a great deal once in a while. But anyway, uh, like I've said, I've owned all these three knives before, and uh, I've had Sabenzas and Striders. Not to brag, but I have had the the more expensive knives. And to be honest. These are more fun to play with and to um, use than any of those other expensive knives, including the Sabenza. To be honest, the Sabenza wasn't a lot of fun to flick, um, even though it's recommended not to flick. You know, you flick it once in a while, um, but it wasn't as much fun as these knives. Now, I'm going to demonstrate um, how much fun these knives are in case you don't have this knife in your collection or in case you've never had a chance to play with these knives. Let's start off with a good look. The one on the top is the EXO 3.5 inch um, Gmascus black and gray knife. This knife is a lot of fun, guys. It has a very heavy blade on it. Very nice stone washing, by the way. One of the best stone washings I've seen, in my opinion. I haven't had a hinder, so I, I understand that the stone washing on the hinders is very nice also. But, um, you know, just to give you a look, um, I really enjoy the stone washing because it does hide the scratches so much. This is a button lock and uh, very smooth. As you can see, um, this one you, you, I kind of flip with the middle finger. I put it behind. It has uh, dual thumb studs. I put it behind the thumb stud and I flick open. Really a lot of fun, especially when I'm driving or watching TV. And because the blade is so heavy, it um, it kind of slides on, on its own. You know, closes on its own. So I can pretty much do this for hours until my finger basically starts hurting. The other cool feature about this knife is you can do it with your thumb and... Some of the time, you're able to um, flick it if you put enough, uh, if you build up enough tension on there. Anyway, the other cool thing about this is the clip. There's not a lot of knives that have the spoon clip. I personally like it. Some people hate it. They say it looks like an actual spoon. But um, I think it's pretty cool. It looks in the pocket. Very distinctive look. And when guys look at it, a lot of guys uh, have never seen it before. Uh, when you're walking in the street or you're in the you know gun shop, and they'll, they'll ask you about it, which is kind of cool because you get to talk about knives, right? Small lanyard loop, which I don't use, a little post. But anyway, really nice texturing. Some people say it looks like mold. I've had the green one. I have the green one also. Um, I got it in a, um, a knife sale uh, about a week ago, which I'm very grateful to have gotten because um, I love these knives. This time I went with this drop point blade. It has a nice little swedge on top, unsharpened, of course. But look at the way the logos are laser engraved. Let me see if we can see it. Uh, maybe not. But the Hogue logo is like laser engraved on there. It looks really cool. Anyway, that's the EXO one. A lot of fun, guys. If you don't if you don't own this knife, if you've never played with it, um, you know, think about getting it. You can pretty much pick them up on the secondary market between ninety and a hundred dollars. They go retail for about one hundred and forty six, one hundred and sixty. But you can always find them on the secondary market. I found. Also, the plastic paramilitary two with the compression lock on top. I mean, this knife is really fun. This knife really hasn't really broken in for me, but it's still a lot of fun to flick. Also, that middle finger. But as you know, with the Spyderco, you can do the, the the Spidey drop, or you can do, let's see what else. Uh, you can flick it with your thumb. You can flick it with your middle finger. This fun. This is a lot of fun uh, to play with. Uh, it's not exactly a low right clip on it, but it's uh, it's adequate. And everyone recognizes the little Spidey logo on the clip. Um, this one's nice because it's all murdered out, all in black, so it looks very classy. It pretty much goes with anything. Uh, these knives, look, these three knives I carry for work exclusively. I really don't carry them on my day off unless I'm just in the mood to play with something all the, uh, you know, while I'm driving or something. But anyway, uh, great knife. Uh, you can't go wrong with Paramilitary 2. If I could only pick one knife, it would be a Paramilitary 2 for the rest of my life to carry. And last but not least, it's the Blur. Kershaw Blur. This knife comes in all shapes, all sizes, uh, tonto, serrated. I prefer the upgraded steel. I believe it's the 154, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, anyway, 154 CM or CM 154. 
which is upgraded steel from what they usually use. Um, this is a liner lock, and this knife is a lot of fun. This knife, uh, I think um, most people will agree that unassisted or deassisted, uh, it's more fun than assisted opening. I don't know why this knife is so smooth. I don't even know why, what causes this knife to be so smooth compared to other knives, but it just is. And you can flick this for hours. I usually do it with my thumb, but there's different ways that you can do it. Um, the detent isn't very strong, but you're able to build up a lot of um, tension with your thumb. This one's in carbon fiber. The only thing that uh, is a little bit of a drawback with this knife is that the clip is kind of funky looking. It um, It's kind of very uh, thin, so you have a hard time shoving it into your pocket. Also, it doesn't ride very low. Um, the benefits are that it's very, very thin, very slim knife. And all these knives have a pretty good lockup, I think. Uh, I'm not really big on lockup as long as there's no no issues. Also, um, there's uh, they're pretty well centered, you know. Anyway, guys, I wanted, didn't want to make it too long. I know I haven't been on making videos a lot. But uh, I have been on Instagram, and um, that's just a lot more convenient and uh, a lot easier to do. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't have these knives, I would recommend that you pick one up and play with it. I guarantee you that once you do that, uh, you're going to be hooked. Um, they come in a lot of different uh, configurations as far as uh, insert material, uh, G10 color, blade color, and uh, this one comes in green. And it come, not only does it come in Damascus, but it comes in the aluminum handle. All right, guys, if you have one of these, maybe comment and let us know if you like them too. I guarantee that anyone that plays with these is going to fall in love. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.